Taurus, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you, no particular subject, we're gonna take an issue, something we know, something we don't know, recent past advice on potential outcome at the end. And there will be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your second house. This could be for you. You know the drill, thank you. However you support the channel, it's very much appreciated. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. Message may well be for you. All the information is in the description box, including website link for private reads. Just hit the more button below, okay. Taurus, what's going on with you guys? I almost feel like there's a silence with you for some reason. What's going on? We have the Four of Cups. Okay, you seem to be rejecting something. Okay, I'm hearing this. There's obviously the Four of Cups is not a fantastic card. It's um, it's apathy. It's rejection of some kind. But I'm hearing. So I'm currently doing like a 21 day Sananga. Um, uh, Dieter, it's eye drops from the jungle, it stings like buggery at first, but uh, you do get used to it. And I found just just to, so I can I can tune in. I listen to something that I've got on the um, on YouTube, music related to Sananga, and it's just music until at the end. And she says, "Open your heart, even if it's the only thing you do in this life." And it just feels like these crossed, this is something that you need to, um, the universe is trying to feed you good energy here, but you, you seem to be neglecting it for whatever reason. What do we know? What don't we know? Recent past. You don't feel good enough for something. And you're being told that you, you, you are, you are good enough. There's a wish fulfillment that's come in here. What, what's your advice? Okay. And potential outcome. Fantastic. You're getting your breakthrough, but there's just something that feels Oh, 4th of November, massive. So what's happening on the 4th of November? Anything in particular? I'm gonna have to look at the angel tarot, bear with me. Two of Wands, okay, you're being prepared for fireworks and you've been given an opportunity here to, I almost want to say witness. Um, how interesting. Something has gone wrong in some format. The Four of Cups, something feels bored. Something feels like, when's my break? It's, kept, it's got you in a little bit of a type of energy, which isn't good. We need to open our chest. We need to open our hearts to receive. So what's gone on? I don't know. Could be rejection. It could be just life, just feeling dull. Um, and this, you know, this, this is, it could be the law of duality. Recent past, we have justice. In this deck, we've got the weighing of the hearts. We've got a feather and a heart, yet they're in complete balance. You know, what should weigh really, really heavy compared to a feather is, is equal. And there's just something about karma that's happening right now. Uh, and especially as we step into like the first, well, from tomorrow and then the first sort of 13 days of, uh, of November, as a rune, it's the rune of Hagalaz, which is ruled by the goddess Hela. Hagalaz is the tower, it's, it's storm, it's hail. Uh, expect the unexpected type of thing. And I almost feel like those of you that are on a very good path, that are open hearted, or at least on the path to open their heart, you might have, you might be getting a sort of situation here where things are going wrong and it's actually to keep you away from what's about to, to, to happen. Because you're, you're about to get some sort of breakthrough um, but to get that breakthrough, we need to pull you away from something. Could just be despondency, feeling duh. Um, interesting. Let me just quickly grab the Angel Tarot deck. Because I just 
just want to see. I know the fourth as a physical manifestation is Angel 46, which is Ariel. Okay, and then the other one is Member Hell. Okay, so 14 and 46. Now I do my research. Bear with me, guys. Uh, 46. Oh, is it 46? Could it be 47? No, 46, I was right. Okay, so. 46, I feel and perceive with my heart. Open your heart, even if it's the only thing you do in this life. Ariel is the angel of clairvoyance, clairaudience and clairsentience. It allows us to develop our subtle senses and to perceive the realities hidden within us and around us thanks to the understanding of symbolic language, which allows us to decode life in depth. Interesting. So, lack of spirituality or spiritual illusions created and nourished by the ego. So that could be something here that just maybe our ego... Our ego is wanting karma served to certain people and we've just got to let things play out as they should. Let go and let Odin. Okay, so could be some sort of telepathy going on here as well. Let's see where 14 is. Meba hell with commitment. Helping is helping yourself at the same time. Angel of commitment and allows us to understand the true meaning of human humanitarian aid and altruism. Motto, truth, liberty, justice, unconditional love, free the oppressed and prisoners, help those who have lost hope. Okay. Interesting. So, something is happening. That is also the energy of exorcism and, and, and pulling away from demonic forces. And with the two of wands here, which is Mars in Aries, which is very strong Mars energy, it's kind of like the tower hits the emperor you guys naturally would fall into the em Empress category because you're Earth and you're ruled by Venus. So it feels like something is... It's like you're disappointed that something ha hasn't happened yet and it's actually coming towards you now. But we need to get you out of this energy of Four of Cups and raise your frequency. I don't know what it is that you're doing, but like I said, law of duality possibly with justice. You know, if there's a growing darkness in the world... You know, if you're consumed with um, social media, news, things like that, it's everything is duality. So if there's a growing darkness, that means there's a growing light. You know, this is recognising if you want evidence of atrocities, watch the news, go on social media. If you want evidence of beauty, get out into nature. There's just something here that's recognising 3D world is dual. Um, so... Four of Cups, what we're aware of is the Eight of Cups. We need to pull you away from whatever this is. The Eight of Cups is letting go of what no longer serves us. <clears throat> what we're not aware of is the Star card. The wish fulfillment is coming. Star is Uranus. Uranus is in your sign. It's at 25 degrees, I believe now. Uh, so it's in the last deacon. And it's going to be fully out by the time we get to July of next year. And there's just this kind of nod. And interestingly, Eight of Cups is roughly the, the time left in... Uh, eight of Cups, the eight, eight months is roughly the time left um, within your sign. Let Uranus transform you. Expect the unexpected. Uranus is the invigorator. Complete shift of energetic debris and become who you're supposed to be. Justice is here in the recent past to say karma will always serve, will get served. Justice and star... There's a, there's a significant awakening that's taking place within either you or somebody in your environment and you're being asked to kind of lead the way, I'd say. Your advice, Ace of Pentacles. The universe is trying to get you something here, but your energy needs to be open to it. And at the moment, for some reason, whatever it is, I don't know, um, you, 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 you appear closed off. The outcome is the Ace of Swords. So we've got two Aces, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Opportunity, breakthroughs. Financial stability, clarity. So this could be, perhaps, with the two cups, you've been focusing on maybe an emotional connection that might be not going your way. And the universe is here to say, what's for you is for you. You continue your path, work on your stability, work on your clarity, and everything else will unfold. Interesting. 
So we're going to check out where the Ace of Cups is. And I also want to see, there was something else. Oh, Tower and uh, Emperor. Okay, so like I say, you, you guys naturally are the Empress for that Venus and the Earth aspect. And she's wedged between the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. There's a lot of pain that's attached to you here. I'm saying this is you. Like I said, don't get caught in genders. I'm, I'm sun with earth, moon with water, and rising with earth. All feminine energies. Yeah, I'm a heterosexual male. So I would be, in this instance, the empress. So do not get caught in genders. So there's just something here about... Something to do with the past that needs to be healed. It keeps You keep revisiting it for some reason. Life can only be dis life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. My apologies for not remembering whose quote that is. Um, Solon something. Someone look it up for me, please. Let me know. Okay. Ace of Cups is with the Four of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so it feels like you're on some sort of path, maybe mirrored souls here with this uh, uh, Four of Wands. So what's for you is for you. If you look at the uh, Queen of Pentacles here, if you look at her chair, she has on her, um, next to her fingers, what looks like the Rune of Gebo with Ingwaz. Ingwaz is the seed, Gebo is like the lovers, it's partnership. Together it's Gunyir. Gunyir is the spear that Odin throws. No matter which direction it throws, it hits its mark. So what's for you is for you. You just need to trust that and then you just go on your journey to create your stability, to create your, um, your breakthroughs, your passions, etc, etc. Emperors with the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, there could be some sort of karma that's been thrown around here. You know, the Eight of Pentacles is uh, 2024 for some of you, um, representing an eight well, for all of us because we're in 2024. It's an eight year, that's what I'm getting at. It's a very karmic year. Uh, the Five of Pentacles could represent something that maybe happened three years ago. Maybe you went through it three years ago. Who knows? But something is kind of leveling itself out. Tower is last and it's with death. Oh, yeah, this feels like an awakening. I don't think I don't think it's you. I think you've gone through an awakening. Or this could be another part of your spiritual awakening. You know, maybe you've already had maybe you've already had three and, and the universe is going, come on Taurus, we know you can do it. Here's your fourth. I, don't worry about that. I, I, I jest and I joke. Um but it's only because the journey from the top of the mountain when you get to this uh, eight of cups when you reach that ninth of cup looks a damn sight uh, sweeter when you've gone through um the challenges that you've that you've gone through you know but it just it does feel like there's some sort of fireworks that's about to go off which is interesting if i say november the 4th and then the day later it's bonfire night here in the uk but the reason why i say november the 4th we can look at it sort of either way in the US, your format is different to how I would do it. I would read it 411. You guys in the US would read it 114. And here we've got 114, 11. So we can go either way. So it feels like a very, very pivotal moment on the 4th, possibly. It doesn't have to be. But something is shifting. If there's an opportunity, anything around those dates that's advising you to take an opportunity which might allow you to maybe move away from something, could be anything, take it. Okay? Divinely guided. Interesting. Fate leads the willing and drags the reluctant, Taurus. Always remember that. In your extended, let's just clarify these. Let's see what, uh, what's going on. Trust the karma that you've created for yourself is of wonderful energy. Trust that life might be feeling dull and boring now. It soon won't. It'll soon um, kick up into gear but it requires you to reach a certain level of um, vibration for you to bring these joy, joyful elements in. If you feel down and out, 
get into nature, really um, you know, tap into that grounded energy. Okay? Interesting. So, Moon in Cancer, Saturn in Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Mars in Aries, Sun in Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, uh, Cancer Pisces, Sun in Scorpio, Saturn in Libra, Taurus Libra, Moon in Aquarius, Virgo, Mars in Scorpio. Yeah, it, it, I feel like whatever this tower and death card that's happening, I, I feel like it's happening to somebody else. I don't think it's happening to you. I think you might be the, I'm gonna say teacher, but I just feel like you've gone through some sort of transformation like this and now watching you move forward is gonna be what pulls whoever is going through this. It's like you're leading the way, okay? So do not ignore your uh, your true path, which is lighting the way for others. Okay, let me know. Take care. See you soon. Bye.